at is. Can you even try to do it? Do you know how to do it, LaFell? Hey, we're in the game. Yeah, okay. your turn. <laughs> well, let's see together. Will the Indonesian team call it a day or will the Brazilians have to samba all night long? Let's see. Team BTR Sons up to the challenge against Team Onyx and we have just landed to the land of dawn. No one knows what's gonna happen. It, we might see some surprises. We might see some predictions being right or even proven wrong. Hey, I have a 0% uh, win rate on predictions. Though I predicted for Onyx, it will be quite a surprising turn here. But anyway, we've seen a little bit about the interaction between uh, Keyboy as well as Luna on Botak here, where Luna tried to slow them down, but you know, Keyboy is just like, nah, fam, nah, yeah, well, I'm, gonna, fam. I'm gonna protect my jungler. Harris is uh, such an interesting hero. I think that in the early stages, Ooh, some people hero. will. Prioritize huh. the uh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> I think they will prioritize the kill here. They are looking for Super Opa, but oh, they have huh? just trapped Kyrie out of time, recalling on the body. Okay. We can even hear the Filipino cast was like, ooh, <laughs> doing that to Kyrie. But I have to ask. That was weird. CW with the Festival of Blood. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah, that's actually super duper surprising. I'm not going to pretend like uh, an expert in Harith, but um, I will have to ask some of my friends, maybe um, somewhat, someone uh, from the pro scene to mm -hmm. understand what, they're, what, what they like about that, uh, that emblem. But it kind, of, it kind of makes sense, you know? Yeah. Because you deal big amount of damage, exactly, but yeah. you don't have the best I would dueling say, potential. I would know? say it's the chrono vision making it worth it, but now oh. right around the turtle. Right now we can see that Keyboy is pushing that Helda away. Kyrie goes in and just takes the turtle to his favor, to the favor of his team, and ba and Black is out. He blacked out. Oh, uh, that was such a that was such a great play coming from Onik in a way that they literally just outplayed Bigatron Sons in that regard. The timing of the stun, for example, and then obviously with the red tree that Kyrie was able to take on. Turns out like that death was just sacrifice coming out from uh, Kyrie. It's like a ritual. Yeah, again, they have to lose one to win one. Maybe that's what they were aiming for. But either way, right now we're looking at the, at the situation. Looks like Onik, they just want to win the lane because, oh, Luna on Potak. Ah, uh, Kyrie finds Luna on Potak and, oh, Boots didn't need to go that extra mile even though he did the penalty zone and the penalty has been paid by the Hilda electrifying beats just to find his way out. Done. Because they have found Luna, which is interestingly not yet level four. That's what I'm wondering. Maybe they kind of messed up some of the gold mm -hmm. earlier on. Because the only reason why you will not get level four at three minutes as the roamer is when you when you are late when it comes to picking up the roam boots, or if somebody has lower gold than you, which is a massive mess up coming oh, out from a he boy BTR. pushes him away, and look at that, he just makes a clean kill for Onyx team. Honestly, I just want to answer you there, Wolf, because we saw how Sans was denying uh, Syndra of yeah. that of those minions. Perhaps yeah. that's one of the triggers. Maybe. Right, perhaps the, the first or the second wave, Sans was able to push out the Novaria away from the minions, even though Novaria could farm up pretty safely because you can shoot from a distance. And uh, I don't know, it could be one of those small details that prevented Luna on, on yeah. getting those levels. A look at Keyboy just gonna be standing in front of the orange buff. He might be going for the reset, but Kairi is already level 7. If he gets level 8, this will be massive because that means that the turtle will be theirs. Buzizio, though, with the retribution on cooldown, 14 seconds for Kairi. They might want to fight this. Well, they might find uh, an opening, but I think that they are just pushed away. They see Keyboy coming. They know that there is trouble. Kairi takes down the turtle, and now we see that there is a final slash and also a final ending for Team Onik. They just have that Tigreal. They just win the team fight and not just that they take the turtle how the hell did you win a team fight a lord a turtle <laughs> fight without the retribution i don't understand it onyx is just on a different level but i guess you know actually i know the answer oh. which was only oh. in the mouth oh, Jesus. oh no okay um bigatron signs have to work together here because i understand what you're saying well because just now we saw luna on bota actually diving straight to Kyrie, yep. trying to have a little bit of crowd control because that's a little bit of displacements in yep. your skills that yeah you could prevent or you could slow down the retribution but during that time Vizizi wasn't in, in a good position yep. to really contest for the turtle and down at bot 
It looked like CW is like, I don't care who you are, I'm taking you down. Thousand gold lead for the jungler. That's Kyrie having a thousand more gold oh. over his competition this time. And that spells a lot of problems for BTR. We have to specify what does a thousand difference mean? It means that Kyrie has one completed item and Buzizio doesn't have one. Yep. No completed items just yet. That's right. That's a big difference. Massive difference, in fact. And Onik are leading by 3.7k gold. The reason why we like the Hearth versus the BTR, it's not just about the Claude, it's mainly about the Joy, where the Joy is not necessarily going to be able to take out this Hearth, especially because of the Festival of Blood, right? All you have to do is to land one of your dashes and one Synchro Fission, perhaps, and then you're already A-OK -okay when it comes to like surviving against this Hearth, against this Joy, I mean. And also, Hearth can take the... Uh, Winter Truncheon, eventually. Typically, right, right, the the Marksman cannot survive the Joy because even if they get the Wind of Nature, they still get taken out by the Joy. But the Harris is a natural uh, carrier of the Winter Truncheon, which means that the Joy is not a problem for him at all. I, say, I would say that it is a harsh lesson being taught to Team BTR at this moment as just a dominating game since minute one, even though they had Kyrie and they had the first blood upon him, but no use, not at all. Yeah, and as we said, Bigatron Suns, they need the item. So right now, since Onyx has a gold weed, this 5,000 gold weed feels like 7,000 gold yeah. weed just because mm. Bigatron Suns, even if Onyx makes a mistake, the only one that can realistic, realistically kill is Kyrie, and that's if he dives too deep, like yeah. inside a turret or something. Then they have enough damage to actually do something about it. Great push from Onyx. Uh, 4.2, 4. 4. Uh, 5.4k. In fact, look at the gold difference between the uh, between each matchup. 1.6k now for Kyrie versus Buzizio. Right now, the only thing is I see like CW doesn't care about his positioning, not that in a bad way, but meaning like if someone ganks him, can they really do anything about it? Can they kill CW? Because right now he's a gold laner with the ability of an EXP laner. That's right. Oh, Kyrie! Kyrie goes in and he might find that Hilda, but he manages to escape. Boots is now trying to do a lot of damage, but oh, he gets a taste of his own medicine. Black goes away, even though I thought it was a definite yeah. kill. But then Onik is able to push up top, so that's still a pass. Positive thing that going, it's mm. going in their favor. Positive gains yeah. coming out from Onik, and they push the mid lane as well. Right now, it does seem like. Onyx is just taking the opportunity. He's like, yeah, because Transcends, you're not going to do anything, so we're just going to act like you're not around. So if they want to push, they just push. Bigatron signs, they need to figure out a way to engage or to catch a mistake. But Kyrie goes in and uh, Luna on both of you're a tank and you're taking that much damage. That's the cost of leaving Kyrie farm. Just, oh, oh he, he just saw that I mean, it, it like. I would say that this is a message, uh, message saying that there is no use of the ultimate at this moment. Just yep. let's use it here. Yep. I mean, he says, Zorn, that's a statement. Yeah. He says, Zorn, okay, you go for Rekord TPs. I can <laughs> use my ultimate. <laughs> yeah, let, let's up level the game. <laughs> yeah, it's like a. <laughs> now that's a flex. Now that's a flex. Now that's a flex. Recalling, you're not really losing anything. Yep. Yeah. Using your ult and showing your opponents, like, hey, yep. I don't have an ult. Yep. If there's any time for you to go in, guess what? Now's the time. He yep. was one flicker away from like having the ultimate level up in this in this competition. <laughs> That's true. That's very true, <laughs> actually. <laughs> uh, let's see what will happen. Um, obviously, the dominant size is such yeah. a good pickup for the for a T grill because a tie grill because you open the map anyways, so you you are in front. And with the Starling side and the Feather of Heaven with the Holy Crystal, oh my God, Chewick can one shot or two shot people now. Not gonna lie, just the Starling side, I feel like it's enough. Yeah. Anything more than that at this point kind of feels like overkill. And yep. uh, let's look at this. Keyboy has this implosion again. So with the minions coming in and him having the flicker, he could have a big impact here. Like yeah. if Bigatron Sans is grouping up together as like a, a, a natural way you want to defend, Keyboy might punish that. Oh. Huh. I think that everyone's now settled down to see if Onik will make it one of the shortest games so far in the M5. BTR are in a really bad position. They are in no position actually yeah. to make a successful defense. Let's see together what's gonna happen. Will it be the finish for Team Onik or maybe just taking the inhibitor turret, taking it down layer by layer? Onik is just taking the top lane inhibitor turret, mid lane inhibitor turret. I think that the upcoming turn is the bot lane inhibitor turret. Onik wow. by far are not even trying. To 
to get inside that base yet. They are inside the base. Look at Onyx. They will see now that Joy is trying to prevent the minions from coming in. It's just one inhibitor turret away from falling apart. Well, Keyboy is just Ooh, one flicker nice. away from doing something amazing. Super Opa is trying to deal so uh, much damage, but look at the back line. Look at here. Oh my look God. at Keyboy. Look at Team Onyx. They are punishing. Team BTR to the limit. No one can do anything at this Ooh. moment. CW with the Triple King looking for that maniac that can be offered, but Boots say no. Boots just says no. Onyx team with the dominant game. Team BTR are looking for a miracle, but their voices cannot grow through the sky where the Sky Kings themselves are sitting there. Let me just say congratulations to Honey for winning the first match of this best of three. And uh, it went quicker than I thought. Like, what was that? Sub 11 minutes? Yep. Onyx just did whatever 